It can be hard to find a place to call home in a nuclear fallout. They say that home is where the heart is, but I find that no matter how many raider hearts or other organs you collect, things just don't seem to feel any cozier. What you really need to make a place feel like home is a safe bed to save your game, a source of infinite water that's somehow not irradiated despite coming directly out of the ground, and some choice decor to balance that wasteland feng shui. But to do any of that, you first need a place you can call your own. Which brings us to our hero, Joe Joman, a temporarily homeless scaver on a quest to free the commonwealth from robots. Joe has lofty ambitions, and if he wants to achieve any of them, he needs a solid foundation, a base of operations to plot and plan. Quite simply, he needs a home, because Yefim keeps raising rent prices and Joe's charisma is too low to talk him out of it. So, we gave Yefim a tearful goodbye. Hey, Yefim. You look tired. Need a room? Fuck you. And headed to the market to gear up. Unfortunately, they had a godless bleep bloop scrap heap running the market, so we had to very awkwardly return to Yefim for one more night so we could deal with actual merchants in the morning. After saying goodbye to our landlord for good this time, Fuck you. We spoke with Arturo, who was willing to sell us 50 machine gun bullets for 500 caps, the equivalent of one magazine for a quarter of our total net worth. But we had to take the offer because our next objective would require some firepower. The real estate market at downtown Boston is cutthroat, but there was a nice property available to lease just a block away from Diamond City, Hangman's Alley. But first, we'd have to convince the squatters to leave by any 45 caliber means necessary. We're not stinky. Or actually filthy, it says, so very different. Okay, yep, yeah, no, this way, this corner is just off off limits now. They're very vigilant. We're gonna have to go the long way around. Oh, this is this is a terrible sight right here. But I mean, he's not gonna use any of this stuff if he's dead, right? Probably wouldn't mind if I took some of these. With our new eviction armor, we went the long way around to avoid our super mutant neighbors and approached Hangman's Alley. Oh, Blasted them. No turrets around here. Oh come on. When you turn up, you're dead. Oh god, there's definitely people. You know we'll find you. Why not get it over with? Oh, well that's nice. I think I know where there's at least two enemies. <laughs> Shit. This is locked. Alright. Novice lock. We clutch these. The door's open. Well, I think they know. I, I'm gonna go get to cover. Alright, so far so good. Why does Joe have a cock nuts destruction meter? That's not what CND stands for. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, first of all, I think this armor that we picked up is really good. Hello? I kind of don't want to enter. I'm just getting started. Is he trying to attack me through the wall? Hey! Ow! Okay, that was a terrible idea. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Okay, the armor's not as good as I thought either. They're kind of dumb though. They're kind of just like sitting in there. Like besides that guy. Oh my god. Okay, he can hit me through the wall, but I can't hit him. That's cool. Maybe maybe we can cheese him. Oh, wait. I can see him through the crack. Like, I hit him. I'm hitting him. <laughs> I can't tell if it's... <gasps> okay, I guess it did something. Oh. Somebody else just died. That's probably the guy that I blew the arm off of. Soap. Plus one free bath. It's looking good. I don't know if there's anything still in here. There's not any turrets, are there? I think we're good. Nice. Check it out. The master bedroom. <laughs> yeah. We quickly made ourselves at home, but didn't have a gear to make a water pump. So we headed back to Diamond City for some more shopping. I heard a super mutant yelling earlier, which is like mildly concerning considering they live next door to us. These are literally our neighbors. We could book it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to book it past them though with this much health. We'll take the, sh we'll take the safe route. It's a great question. I actually have a...
What was that? After getting hit by a parked car, we went to Dr. Sun for our car accident wounds. Oh, well, that's a lot of blood. We'll need to operate right away. My <laughs> God, he's operating on me? Then we bought a food grade desk fan from Myrna and took the super mutant route back since it felt safer with less cars around. Do cigarettes give charisma? No, but I'm pretty sure my nicotine addiction gives negative charisma. So if you think about it, they kind of do. Smoke 10 to prove you're not a fake fan. You want me to smoke one third of our quick save supply to prove I'm not a fake fan? That's ridiculous. Oh God. We made it back safe and assembled a pump in this pile of garbage where you find the best water and finally had all of our essentials taken care of. Joe may be stuck drinking garbage water, but that doesn't mean you have to be. Two weeks ago, a bunch of you got free samples of Gamersubs, so hopefully by now you've had a chance to try them. If you liked it or if you missed out, go grab some now. Gamersubs.gg slash milk for 10% off. Link in the description. But there was another reason we wanted Hangman's Alley that I haven't mentioned yet. Normally in Fallout 4 survival mode, fast travel is disabled. But to incentivize capturing settlements and mimic the carriage system from Skyrim, I've installed a mod that allows fast travel only between settlements. Now, we had a solid access to Diamond City and we could easily return to our ally that we had previously left behind. Miko! I see you're doing much better than the last time I saw you. Significantly less bullet holes in you than before. We had our friend back, but we still lacked a true home. Hangman's Alley was nice, but the neighbors were terrible and so was the traffic. It's a nice fast travel point, but it wasn't the home Joe was looking for. So we spoke to the number one real estate agent in the Commonwealth, Preston Garvey, who tried to convince us to live in Sanctuary. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? This isn't a home. It's nothing but an empty room. You've got to look past what it is to what it could be. I can see it. Garden plots over there, some snug shelters, hell, maybe even electricity. Do you really think that's possible? Not by a long shot. Once he gave up on selling sanctuary to us, he directed us towards a potential settlement that might suit our needs. Ten Pines Bluff. I want to put a bed here too. Oh, we can't sleep while taking radiation damage. Shit. Well, guess we might as well use our free our free bath token then. We're washing. You're not even taking off your hat to take a bath, Joe? Oh, he's quick with it. Oh, no way. We The soup the soap is reusable. Guys, did, I, I, I didn't know that. I always throw away my bars of soap after one use. Did you guys know you can reuse them? In addition to our infinite bathing soap, we also got a level up, which finally granted us the idiot savant perk, which would randomly give us triple XP and get boosted by our measly one intelligence. Why am I in danger? What's happening? Oh shit. Oh my god. More dogs. Ow, where did it go? Okay. Oh great, we're we're sick again. We got bit by a dog once and we're already sick. Oh, he, he gave us insomnia. That makes sense. Don't say not cool, Joe. No, you guys are free. It bit me. It was trying to kill me. It's not animal vi- Okay, well, it was animal violent, but it was justified. We're not just- I'm not- Well, I guess I am justifying this animal violence in this specific scenario, but not like- You know what? I'm gonna shoot whatever I want, okay? I'm not afraid to say it. It was self-defense. Stand your ground. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Do I need to act exercise my self-defense on you too? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We said word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people. Don't what do you? What did he? What did he just shoot? We're having a conversation, sir. Hey there. I told you to get out of here. What? No, you didn't. Turns out, not only was Ten Pines Bluff so already good. occupied, it was occupied by a clearly insane man. We certainly weren't going to be roomies with this guy, but he threatened us at gunpoint to go kill some nearby raiders, and we nervously obliged. Can we use- can we sleep in your house? Okay, no. No rest for the wicked. Just free water. Where- where's it having us go? Walden Pond. Okay. Why is Joe killing humans when the real danger is robots? Just because robots are evil doesn't mean that- people can't also be evil. There's still people who are trying to shoot us with their guns. I'm not like a, a pacifist, you know? If somebody's gonna shoot at me, I'm gonna shoot back. Like, especially that dog earlier. When he tried pulled his gun on me, I had to put him down. Okay, so we have to take out what I assume is a gang of raiders. And we have one, one magazine in our pipe pistol. 
like half a magazine and our submachine gun and like one grenade and some laser musket rounds. I'm sure we'll be fine. What are you barking at? Oh shit. I need to get my fly swatter out for, for these kinds of things. We got a we got a spare ammo. Oh, I dropped the fly swatter. Never mind. We don't have a melee weapon. Whatever. Use the ammo. Oh yeah, weapon bashing. What button is that? Oh, perfect. Does more damage if you hold it? Oh. Uh. Miko, leave that thing alone. Oh my god, he bit it! Miko! What the fuck is wrong with you? Actually, it actually is free food. Never mind, good boy, Miko. Oh shit, there they are. What are they shooting at? Shit, okay, well they're shooting at me now. Ow. I can't really see them. I'm gonna try to loop around. Ow. Now, let me try my, my upgraded <laughs> gun bash here. Oh. Back up. Yes, get him. Did the gun bash work? They're on fire. It did something. Is that all of them? Was it just the two? Wait, those weren't even the guys. Those were just two random dudes. Are, are there supposed to be raiders here? This is an empty pond. Why would there be raiders here? Oh. Oh, we love a good old drainage pipe base. I'm not lost. That, that settler was very direct with his instructions. That's why they call oh. it being. Uh oh. I was trying to eavesdrop. Oh god, there's one more. Oh god! Oh. oh shit, I'm out of ammo. I I I sprayed and prayed. Easy clap. Walter. Give me your 45 rounds, Walter. We swapped our submachine gun for a more accurate combat rifle and crawled back out of the sewer. Why'd we kill those guys? Uh obviously because they were threatening the settlers of Ten Pines Bluff. Can you not tell by the way they were hiding in a drainage pipe that they were a menace to everything in a like mile radius. They weren't raiders. Yes, they were. Did you see them? They lived in a drainage pipe. Who would live in a drainage pipe besides raiders? Yeah, they shot for, well, actually that's not true. He, what happened was the guy saw me and he pulled out a, a pool cue and then I shot him in the face. But that was a very threatening way that he was holding that pool cue. It was, it was self-defense. I was standing my ground. Let me go. What? Who's talking? Somebody need to be shot? Oh, over here. Oh god, there's another self-defense issue going on here. Whoa, what's going on? This thing's a synth. Whoa! Whoa, 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 It's a synth? You know what? You should kill him. What? No! I wanted to do that. That's okay. I get to keep the synth component, though. After a day of successful self-defense, the unstable man invited us to sleep on his property, but only in the back house with no roof. It's a skylight. Yeah, it's fancy. On our way back to Sanctuary, we found our first legendary, which was completely useless, and a 44 Magnum we entrusted to our dog. I'm giving him the bullets too, just in case he needs to shoot something. I'll leave that under his jurisdiction. We told Preston that the dude at Ten Pines Bluff was weird and that we didn't want roommates, so he pointed us in the direction of a new plot that he assured us was vacant. He also promoted us to the rank of General and gave us two level ups thanks to Idiot Savant, which we put into Cap Collector and Scrounger to help our economy. Like, it's just his lung capacity isn't great. It's because of all the wasteland air. It's all the dirt and radiation in the air. I was the one making the air dirty. That's not true. We're cleaning it with our lungs, like a filter. Preston! Oh, Preston was, was cuddling up. We were staying warm. Between promoting us to general, his bad housing recommendation, and cooperative sleeping habit, Preston was acting erratic. We felt bad, so we took him with us. Preston, shoot those things. This is your, this is your trial run. Ow! 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 Get him! Ow! Oh my god! I'm trying to conserve ammo! Fuck. Shoot them! Shoot them! Oh! Oh my god! He sucks! He sucks so much! 
The next property he had us look at was just an empty parking lot filled with rats. Then he had us construct a sort of contraption that we couldn't comprehend. At this point, it seemed like Preston cared more about rebuilding the Minutemen than our own quest to make a house a home. So we took matters into our own hands and began a trek back to a familiar location. Oh, hello, Settler. I'm new around here. I wanted to introduce myself. So, is there mm. anything interesting? You started on? What do you have in your pockets? Okay. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me all that, and give me your money, too. Welcome to the settlement. Have a good day, sir. We're looking kind of low on ammo right now, but... We're, I think we have enough to, I think we have enough to do what we, what we need to do. And outside of the occasional insects, there's not too much on the road between us. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a little bit. Oh, this thing is strong. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Shotgun? I think this is shotgun. This seems like shotgun. Oh my god, it's strong. Preston, why are you running? Oh my god. Preston, don't run! I need you to tank this! That's spraying goop everywhere! Deal with it, Preston! Shoot him! <laughs> Please, no! Why is there so much goop? Yes, Miko! Oh god, he's down. He doesn't know how to jump. He doesn't know how to jump, though. Oh, Preston's shooting again. Oh, God. <laughs> well, never an easier fight. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was a completely avoidable fight, and we just dumped, like, all of our ammo into it. Can we run? We can run. No. We cannot run. What was that? <laughs> Why are there super mutants on the bridge? Oh, my God. He takes no damage. It's an overlord. Maybe he'll lose us. Maybe he'll just forget that we're here. It's going to be painful. Just close. Guys, cover your ears. Those, the bad noises are gonna go away. Oh shit, no, he found us. <laughs> this time I'm hoping for maybe like two grand cash sitting on the bridge. Raiders. Oh shit. Okay, um, we're fine. We're fine. This is good. Oh my god, he has a missile launcher! Oh! Oh shit! Uh, uh, step back! Preston, get him! Okay, we're- we're great. We got a missile launcher and three missiles, which we again entrusted to our dog. Hey, come here. Why does he always walk away from me? Hey! Miko, come here! Jesus. Please. Oh! <laughs> that was an accident. That was not- We were- I was petting him. I was just petting him. I was- And finally, we arrived at our destination. They say you keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So what better place to build our home than directly across a shallow stream from our mortal enemy? Unfortunately, there was already a family of three living on Nordhagen Beach, and since Preston was with us, we had to help find the husband who had been kidnapped. Stay far away from that. I don't even want to know what they're fighting right now. Oh god, wait, I think they might be fighting my targets. Shit. Shit. Preston enjoys holding your junk. You know, I don't actually give him any of my junk. I have him just hold weapons for me. Oh, this time there's a raider. Wait, I'll just have them... Preston, I'm trying to bait them. I'm trying to make them step on the landmines. Do you have to shoot every single thing you see, Preston? Sometimes it's okay to just, like, live and let live. Oh, they're on the roof. Oh, that was a hell of a headshot. How many raiders do we think we're talking in here? I'm hoping for a low number. Okay, we have a marker. That's good, actually. We have a specific marker. Let me smoke here and collect my thoughts. So, if there's one specific marker, that means there's one objective. It's not like we have to kill every raider that's in this building. It means that there's one specific key target. Now, this is a kidnapping rescue operation. So what I'm thinking right now, with my massive, wrinkly brain here, is that the single target might actually be the person we're rescuing. And we could get in and out without fighting anyone. Preston, are you having fun with the little basketball? Are you kicking it around? Huh, buddy? Hey, I'm listening. Okay, we got turrets. Okay. Convenient hole in the wall. 
Oh my god, wait, it's literally him. He's like right here. I can only... I have to pickpocket him? Okay, I have to unstealth. <clears throat> Who's there? Please, you've gotta help this me. This might be a problem. Don't worry, I'm here to rescue you. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, good. Caution, but not okay, danger. Okay, the shit, who is that? Nobody. Oh shit. Cover's blown. Leave. Look at this. Everything's perfect, except for Preston, who, um... We'll see Preston later. We left Preston to shoot some hoops with the raiders and brought the father back to Nordhagen Beach. They were so thankful that they let us sleep in their house with them and completely voluntarily agreed to let Joe use their house as his main base of operations against Liberty Prime and the rest of the Commonwealth's robots, a decision I'm sure they won't regret. Now, Joe finally felt at home. Uh-oh. Trouble.